What's up guys, it's the girl Sammy back with another video and today guys I'm back with yet again another why do I do that? That's weird. I feel like I've been moving a lot. We're back with another video as you guys can see by the title Easy X Natalie. I haven't watched them in a cool minute. I ain't gonna cap. Um, and I don't know, I was just curious to watch what this video is about, I guess, see what it gives. Um, they haven't been posting a lot either. I guess, you know, new house, other opportunities, I don't know, just different stuff. But, you know, I just wanted to react to them, see what it is, see what it's going to give. Um, yeah. But, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more of my videos. Also, let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. And... I don't know why easy covering over like this as part of the video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, here you go. Aww. That's so the beautiful. Thank you. Are they having a picnic day? Oh, I do, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Subscribe to our love story. I like that too. We have such good and exciting news for you guys. No, no, wait, no, no, you can't tell them. It's got to be a surprise. Let's just say we're partnering with YouTube to bring you guys something very, very special. And we're giving a lot of it away. A lot. So, to you, to you, to you, to okay. you. So make sure you keep your eyes out for the short that we post next week. June 22nd, guys, I promise you guys, this is our biggest, biggest announcement with YouTube, okay? Guys, we have a chance to win it. Like, we said, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so, excited. this is I'm unbelievable, it. guys. Make sure you guys tune in, we're super excited. And thank you guys so much for supporting us through this journey. I promise you, next week, you'll see how much in the comments what it You're the girl that makes me feel so good. Oh, no. Uh, uh, How's that chocolate? Oh, good. It's been four weeks. It's only been four weeks? Only? That's a long time for them. Y'all. Four it's weeks Friday. Ago. We ain't got no job. Guess we got a lot of making up to do. <laughs> yeah. It's like we're here and then we're, we're gone. We've been seeing all the messages, the DMs. She said a little sick. The comments under our reels and TikToks. <laughs> come back to YouTube. Come so back. guess what? We back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Us. What's <laughs> up, Neezy <laughs> Gang? How are you? She almost hit that car. We are uh -oh. back on YouTube. And we really want you guys to know how much we appreciate you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, we wouldn't be here in this wow neighborhood without y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we don't want you to think that we neglected you, okay? Because we didn't neglect you at all. And I want I wanted to say that first before okay. you thought that, you know? You know we love you first and foremost. First and foremost. We've just been having to take some time for ourselves, you know? Because yes. we can't be Fair great enough. for y'all not great for ourselves. And My whole thing is, um, people don't get, but it's really very therapeutic when YouTubers, not the ones that be like retired, but just the ones that, uh, choose to take a break or like a mental health break because they do get real like recording editing um thinking of ways not thinking of ways but creating content ideas brainstorming all of that can be overwhelming just putting your life out for the public to see it can be very overwhelming i imagine it being very overwhelming um so when they do take breaks i feel like it's really healthy yeah you're gonna miss them but you know when I miss a YouTuber that I like watching, feel me? I always resort to watching old videos. That's what really just helped me. Like, till they come back and post something, I always watch old videos. So, just as a heads up, just a thought. Exactly. We kind of been open about it and telling you guys about it. Life is life. I love it. It'd be life. 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 It'd be life. -in. You know what I'm saying? It'd be life. -in. A lot of words. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like, what is she talking about? Word? Not for real. 
you know? Know. They know Nizi Gang because y'all been here for so many years. They know what you're doing. You know exactly I what know. I mean. We have been trying to work on our relationship, right? And I feel like with couples, mm -hmm. the difference between the couples that you probably see and us is that when we're going through, we're going through. We're going to say it, you know what I'm saying? But it's not going to be too much, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to mm -hmm. let y'all know, like, all right, why we've been MIA or been absent. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just to so have an understanding and, like, all right, we know them. And you know what I'm saying? don't even say it at all. You know, like, we them. just feel so close to y'all that we just want, I mean, we're just here. We want y'all to know what's going on. We're trying different things for our relationship to help yeah. us spice it up um, and oh. get better with each other and within ourselves. Okay, look, look at this. Look at this. I need it because I was thinking of something initially, but then she was finishing the sentence as I was pausing it. So I'm just gonna let that thought be that thought. But if you think it what I'm thinking, you know. It's going what, what I'm good. Saying, yeah. still here. What's still here? Don't gotta be explained. We're still here. <laughs> still here. Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought? Why does Natalie tell us she had a cold, y'all? Does she have a cold? Yeah, I could never assume that. I mean, that. I would have assumed that. Like, yeah. We're, we're normal that's people. That's what I'm We're normal people. It's yeah. like, no matter how we fell in love or how much we love each other I mean, it's or normal. any of that, or yeah. having a YouTube channel together, we still <laughs> have to take time for mm -hmm. ourselves. We'll tell you all of the Thanks. things that we're doing to later. Yeah you know, to try to get our relationship Back. and our minds in like a healthier place. Yeah. But for now, let's get into this video. Let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new and you aren't subscribed, mm. subscribe, guys. Bro, I have never seen a Trader Joe's yeah. this big. Like, we're not in the ghetto anymore. <laughs> Yo, we, we did never, it. Wait, Glenda was definitely not ghetto. Okay. Oh, I'm talking about Keswick and Trader Joe's. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I ain't know nothing about Trader Joe's and Keswick because they didn't have nothing mm -hmm. over there. That's when Nat lived in North Hollywood with her family. Like, yeah, it was the ghetto. You know, she didn't know it was the ghetto, though. You know, she didn't know. She got here. What is Trader Joe's right? I, I just saw the building online. And I was like, this looks nice. And it was ghetto. But I'm still grateful for <laughs> my ghetto because I was able to exactly. afford to live out. Like, this looks nice. And it was get to, but I'm still grateful get for my humble beginnings because I was able to exactly. afford to live out here. Yeah. Back. And now look at you, because you were consistent, because you followed your dreams, we're at a bougie ass Trader Joe's with beautiful flowers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Bruh, how, like imagine that feeling. I don't know. I just think it's, I don't know. Imagine going to a Walmart, right? I feel like everybody feel like that. Cause when she was talking about Trader Joe's, I'm just thinking about it. But imagine going to your hometown Walmart and if you're not from the suburbs, you know, you stay in the ghetto, you feel me? So your Walmart really kind of messy, you know what I'm saying? Stuff all over the place. Then you fly out somewhere and you're like, dang, I really came up, bro. This Walmart is bougie. At the end of the day, and it's still Walmart, but like, Folks really got that mindset when they go somewhere differently or somewhere uppityer, like this is the classier one, but it's still Walmart though. Pow. Oh! So, I don't know. It's just a thought though. Y'all let me know if y'all get what I'm saying when I'm talking about it, but it's just crazy to me, bro. At the end of the day, all I'm saying at the end of the day, a place is still gonna be a place. Now, I don't know, for example, Freaking, um, when you go to Orlando, right? There's this McDonald's. Like, it has an arcade and everything in that bit. I'm not gonna say it's the bougier McDonald's. I'm just gonna say that McDonald's got an arcade in there, but it's still McDonald's. McDonald's is still McDonald's. That's it. Back to it. It's the picnic. I love the picnic with no what food, but just straight up fruit. Yeah. I'm not kind of hungry, but hey. Okay. That we'll get into, but we have savory and sweet. Okay. Juice, cocktail. Cocktail. Oh, yeah. oh, you look beautiful. She is so pretty today, girl. Oh, I do. Thank yeah, you. Like okay. Do you like? Okay. I like the drip too. That purple, you know, purple my favorite color. In case y'all didn't know. Drip. Yeah. Oh, so like. That's so big. I ain't, I ain't even gonna play with her like that. Oh. I like how she pulled those out. She did her thing. I wasn't a cute them for myself. <laughs> I like how she did that. Oh, my dumb. I like how she did that. That's really cute. Thank you. You're beautiful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh my God. Where's she gonna put them? Like, they look like God took his paintbrush and went. Ooh. They're really pretty. 
I, I love rugby, y'all. Yeah, so we decided on a weekly basis we need to do something that is like just for our relationship. Yeah. And mm. we're not going to film each one, but because for the purpose of describing to you like the things that we're doing to like bring the fire back into our relationship, okay. we're filming this one. We're not going to film the entire thing, but I see books to, like, day. you know, unless I'm tripping and I'm blind. Ideas for your relationships because I noticed that a lot of the people who you know, uh, or subscribe to us. A lot of the music game, you guys are also in relationships. Mm. So every relationship hits it. It's like, Peak. you know, like, and that's what they say. Bumps in the road. Yeah, I would say bumps in the road to where it's like, okay, this has been a long journey and we need to spice it up more. Yeah, you know we've been together for a minute now. We're not just in the honeymoon. They have been together for a good minute. Hey, we're... comment down below, bro. Matter of fact, I would just put the video of me when I first reacted to them. That was a memory, bro. That's when I first, and good old times. The beginning was something. It really was something, bro. Man, we better go back and watch the old videos after this one, bro. Let's just play. And then we need to um, do different things for what? her. But one of the things Snake's that we gonna... noticed is like, we need to take more time for us. So this was a fun idea. And let's see what we have. So we have some turkey. What is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they do got food. I'm sure we have so I'm getting that turkey right now. Wait, I want to take a video. Oh, man. I'm getting the turkey. No, put it by. Oh, you influencer. No. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. It's influencers. I can't date influencers anymore. 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 Uh, I love you. Uh -huh. I'm not going to lie, y'all. <laughs> What is it? He threw a charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> what is that? I'm kind of hungry now and I'm looking at this. I might go to the store what? and get a lunch board after this or something. Only you would make a charcuterie board. You got a lunch board. Charcuterie. Not for real. She um, got all the food in mouth here. Even though we have this little romantic thing going on, they actually have a fun activity. So maybe yes. you should try at home too. Um, Go ahead. Let me know because my summer little people are so boring. Spice up our relationship and make mm -hmm. sure hold us to like having dates and I'm, stuff like I'm that. Not just always say, work but I can't. together. Um, so popsicle sticks. Got popsicle sticks. Yep. Okay. Got plain ones and rainbow ones because it's pride. I know it's pride. Yeah. But, oh. We're gonna write different date night ideas on each popsicle stick, mm. and they're gonna be color coded. So we'll do like, you know, outdoor activities. We'll do like things where you have to spend money, types of date ideas that we can do at home. And mm, every week we're okay. gonna choose a day that every week we're gonna pull a popsicle stick out and we're gonna do that activity that day. So, yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna be so I fun. Like yeah. To try to hit home, we're gonna write some stuff right now, guys. And like, show Put you all this. Jar, yep. And then we'll pull one. Yep, okay. I'm gonna so, do it, but I'm gonna do it. I got this idea off Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest. Shout out to Pinterest. <laughs> right, Pinterest is the place. Pinterest is really great idea. I'm gonna stop pausing after this, but Pinterest is really where it's at. If you need any good ideas, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all go to Pinterest. If you need any uh screenshots from a show where they just have like the quotes at the bottom and the person, Pinterest, Pinterest is really where it's at. Don't sleep on it. That's that's that. She date night stuff. She is so no, you can tell kind of stuff. Yeah. she's just hungry, bro. And Even I feel decor that, inspiration for your house. Yeah. Y'all saw if y'all didn't see that video of how I came up with how we were gonna decorate yeah. on Pinterest, go watch it. It's on my channel. Here's a stack for you. I'm gonna watch it. This is a lot of activities for the week. No, that's not for it's like for the year. You do okay. one activity a week. Got you. Okay. <laughs> They're falling the apart. They're uncoordinated now. Alright. Uh, the so, orange are with the blues. Uh, you know what it's good for? Like, you'll trust me, you'll like it. You know, every week we'll be like, what do we feel like doing tonight? Okay. And if we, just just, uh, what if we feel like staying in? We're not yeah. gonna, and we pick one that means, that's go hiking. Mm -hmm. Like, that, you know what I'm saying? So do we put our names on it? Like, this is Easy Jar and Natalie Jar? Wait, and so like, how do we? pick one, I pick one, that'd be cool. Like, oh, let's pick one out of my jar this time. And then let's pick one out of your jar. Let's just do one jar. Okay, one jar. And we're gonna ride on these and then show you guys. Guys, tell us some good date night ideas below because we have so many popsicle sticks. If, it's you know, easy. by the time we post this, we can add more to the jar. We're gonna do outdoor. Indoor. Um, in indoor. Wonderful. Something that <laughs> costs money. Yes. And Free D. I think that's, and then what? Okay, and easy gang, so we finished. You wanna read some of them that we came up with, baby? Yes. Okay, all right, so we came up with a lot. 
Uh, Nat definitely threw a lot of my sticks away was... because she didn't like some, and she said my handwriting was sloppy. <laughs> it wasn't a lot. It was wow. like Wow. I put four-wheeling, and she said no to that. But she knows I don't like four-wheeling. Like, these are date night. I used to have to be things we both wanted. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Give me the good okay. ones. Give me okay. the good ones. Okay, what we got we so far? Have one would be to make dinner together at home. Ooh, y'all know I like to cook on our grill. We have go see a movie. Ooh, give us spend a little money. Okay. Give us a little spicy one. What you got? Well, spicy? Wifey? Um, uh, something we don't do. Oh, we have outside movie night with a projector. Oh yeah, we have a projector from the from my mm, birthday party. I remember that, right? Yep. Yeah, we have go get a massage. Yeah. Okay. We have shopping spree. Shopping. I wrote that one. Yeah. I wrote that. Yeah. Uh, one more, one more, one more, a good, good one. We've walked to Starbucks with the boys. I said a good, good one. I don't know. A fire one. Yeah, you can walk okay, let me choose. I'll just, I'll just grab one, like as if I'm actually choosing one for the day. All right, in the house. Meditate. Oh, I wrote this too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meditate. Mm -hmm. Meditate. Yeah. Oh, this is mine. Yeah. She just rewrote it because my handwriting. So. These are the ideas that we have. We're gonna probably write some more. We have a I lot like that too. That's really cute. And uh, I'm super excited this for this relationship. Fun. Yeah. As long as you stick to it, it's really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna love you. Um, there's a lot of things that you could do for your relationship. We're actually going to do therapy. We're gonna do therapy. We've already tried oh. therapy. We're gonna do therapy with one of our good friends. He's a sexologist. Sexologist. You know oh. what I'm saying? And so we were like, oh. you know what? Maybe we should go see her, have a little conversation, yeah. just get some advice and stuff. So we're just gonna try different things to try to keep our relationship on a healthy place. And I, I think that is a, such a good sign that we're mm -hmm. willing to do that because I mean, yeah. at least we know we're aware of the things that we need to work on. And yeah, and we're not and just expecting our relationship thing. to just stay good forever. Yeah, that's not realistic. Everyone's going to have their problems they need to work through and have their moments where they need to like spice it up and yeah. things like that. So this is a great idea. If you guys have any other ideas of things that you would like us to try and film us trying, uh, comment below. Give us some really cool date, date ideas or things that could help us work on our relationship. We love you. Like like Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment, please. Comment, comment, comment. So what I got from that was the reason that they haven't been posting a lot is because they are currently trying to figure out ways to spice up their relationship. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Um, overall though, I completely agree with everything they're saying. You know, it is really healthy. For one, it's really, really important when you acknowledge a problem within yourself or within somebody or with anything, it's good that you acknowledge it. Now you just gotta figure out the resolution. So it's good that they acknowledge that, you know, it's some things in their relationship they should work on, some things to, you know, help make their relationship better, make their bond closer. And that's what they're doing. I love that popsicle idea. I'm so for real. I personally, you know, I would really write stuff on a popsicle. And the only time I'm gonna pull is when I wanna be so freaking indecisive in my own head. Cause most of the time, when I have an idea of something I want to do, uh, that's just what I want to do. Like, if I'm like date night, I'm going to have an idea of what I want to do for that date night. Um, but it's really interesting, and maybe it causes a balance for that, too, with the popsicle idea when you are dating somebody, so that's really cute, you know? I love the whole idea, the therapy, all of that. You know, the picnic was cute, the outdoor thing. It's really... It's really giving. I love it. Um, I'm glad they're doing good so far. Um, you know, they're still checking off. The, I could have sworn it's at 800k. I think they are. They're close to 900k, I believe, because I was paying attention when they hit 800, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna hit 900. Pretty soon they're gonna be at a million by the time we know it. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, but you know, I'm proud that they're doing what they can do. You feel me? I understand. I mean, I understand. I agree to what Natalie was saying to in the beginning. It don't matter how you fell in love with somebody, how you knew them, how long you knew them, how long y'all been together. Everybody gonna go through issues and that's just a part of life. It's a part of being human. It is what it is. Don't think nothing's peaches and cream within anybody because trust is not. Um, and yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. How you guys feel about, you know, what they're talking about if you guys gonna take their advice you know i'm curious to hear it all and i'm gonna see you guys for the next one bye